so we talked a lot many months ago about Tessa and what's going, but um, Alexis probably returning, we got Dark Side coming, um, your scar, you know, it's like, where do you see Tessa going? Well, I think where I see her going is very different than where they see her going. <laughs> I think the real question is where do they see her going? Um, well, I was like, who's knocking? Uh, where, where, <laughs> where do they see me going? Um, Okay, so I died like three times last year. I got the total um, crash kicked out of me. Tess is a little humble, I think. And I think she needs to look outside of herself to figure out what she's really here for. I think she needs to go a little... I think she needs to be a team player. I think she needs to... Uh, I think she's going to connect up with Clark and Oliver and become a little bit more of that, that side, a little more of the watchtower area. And then, even though all I know of this season is very broad strokes, somewhere in there, I'm going to find out a big secret about my past. It's going to change things. I don't know how it's going to change things, and I can't tell you what that secret is, but it's, but it's going to be a, a, good, a good switch for her. I'm very excited myself. I was joking that I just waited for the rest of the cast to die off. <laughs> And it's always fun, you know, to just be able to go away and go back and find yourself again. So it's a different mechanism for sure. It could be a more of an endurance role, but I am looking forward to it. Well, I mean, you nailed Lois. I mean, when you first came on, I think fans were really nervous. Like, we are introducing Lois so early. They were scared. But you came right out and just and really, really nailed it. And, I mean, obviously, Tessa was your uh, talent. Um, was there anyone you looked to for inspiration for, for Lois? You know, I relied a lot on my guys. Outside of the panel, you talked about how Lois will react to Clark's secret. Can you illuminate us a little bit more on that? Or did you say more than you were supposed to already? I'm not allowed to say too much, but to be fair, they've, they've, they've made it safe for themselves because they haven't told us a lot of stuff. So <laughs> it's, it's more so the idea that I have, or she knows how she has. Uh, she has to decide how she fits in and whether she needs more behaviors to him or a help to him. She knows she's really like well in a china shop and she realizes Alice. Happy married lady, come on. 
Fun Winter said you guys just did a, sh a thing with Hawkman in the desert or something like that. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Uh, in depth, I can go about okay. it. And I do know that Lois has a chance to make it And uh, it's a little bit of duration. Yeah, I'm trying to deal with this whole situation. Which is really cool. Do you know if they'll eventually stop? I know there's legal rights using the name Superman and Wolf and stuff like that, but will they eventually stop using the floor and maybe get to Superman? Or they, they I hope like so. Yeah. They said Superman. Yeah. So maybe it'll take. Yeah. There's a great way to get back and we have a story that we are really, really wanting to tell with them. So, which we are actually sort of tossing around right now. So, hopefully, yes, hopefully there'll be you know, some news soon. Let's hope. A lot of people are coming back. I would be glad to know. Uh, John Schneider is coming back. Um, Marshall Vandervar, Marshall Vandervar, everyone else in the surprises, you might know. Yeah, well, Carter Hall in episode two is coming back. And, um, you know, we, we'd love to do some more for the whole season with people, you know, our favorites, along with some of the characters. So, like, right now, it's still in so, but yeah. Okay, so? <laughs> I think, I, no, I think that actually is pretty good for it. It rounds it out. Are you allowed to tell us how many episodes Allison is doing this season? You know what? Um, she's going to be in the premiere, and then she's going to be in several more. And to be honest, we don't have like a finite um, amount. So we, I mean, we'll hopefully get to use her as much as she's available. And, uh, you know, we just love her, but we have a really, really cool story for her when she comes back. So after the premiere, and get gets my thing. Is it difficult for you knowing that as a story has an ending to tie all the knots? <laughs> yes, it's yes, it's keeping us up at night. <laughs> yes, <laughs> to have to go back to season one and say, okay, what do we left behind? With it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, as as we've gone through all every season, there are things that we literally add to our wish list for the final season. So we're we're just literally gunning. Like we're our, we're everybody's already exhausted. We're already shooting too because we're like so just trying to get everything out, like, thrown in there and do as much as we can. But everybody's uh, excited. Everybody came back really energized. It's nice to know when it's going to end because that's a very rare, you know, gift. Usually, you know, like three episodes before the final finale. So we're very thrilled to have a whole year to Can you confirm for us who the actress was that was playing Pat Grant in the previous? <laughs> and do you remember her name? <laughs> okay. Let me just see if you're allowed. You know what? Do you, uh, Brian? I just I I think I know her name, but I don't want to rattle okay. off. Her. She's three I, I, words. Carrie Lynn Pratt. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Is that allowed to be said? Yes, yes. And can you say something about her so, so we have that in answer? Um, Carolyn Pratt showed up on set and was Cat Grant. Uh, we were uh, we had watched her um, her audition and both Brian and I immediately perked up. She just sort of had all the attributes that we were hoping to find in one person, and that's really rare. You know, I mean, it's, it's just called perfect perfect casting. Fantastic. I think people really, really like her. And will she be in more than one episode? Yes. I think, yeah. She's, I'm not sure right now, like how many, but uh, we expect to see her again. Warner Brothers is producing the next movie. Is it going to be something linked to the finale? To the... You know what? I don't know. We've had our head just sort of buried in small black sand for season 10 because we've been so focused on trying to get it up and running and get everything we want. Um, I know that they're talking, you know, I know obviously there's a movie coming out. Obviously we talk with them. Um, you know, we have kind of constant communication with DC and, uh, and try to link up as much as we can, like I said, with Superman suit that you see in Smallville is actually the one from the movie. Um, so we do try to coordinate as often as we can. Good. Uh, you finally get a fly without aid on this sort of kryptonite and magical things that I'm kind of always going to Stay tuned! <laughs> 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 always going to go to the 